This is Mark Bell from SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Here is my boy, Mr. Robot Pants, hitting up some block pulls. Got a couple guys doing some dynamicals, dynamical squats. And um, Robot and I were doing some repetitions off of uh, blocks just to change things up a bit. Also using straps, something I've been kind of playing with. So we worked up and did um, a few sets of three. I think about three sets of three with a given weight. I used about 550. It was 555 or so. And then we moved into doing um, high reps of snatch grip. And uh, these are really these are really brutal. And then also, again, using the straps. Uh, using the straps in training has, has felt very beneficial to me. There's a lot of studies that kind of show that uh, when utilizing the straps, that it kind of helps... Um, to overload your your back, um, including you know including doing uh, exercises for lats, any rowing and any any um, lat pull down type work, pull ups, things like that. It's gonna work your lats a lot more, um, but you're also uh, you are taking the grip out of it. But you can simply just work your grip through other exercises. So that's something I've been doing lately. I'm not a raw lifter, so I figured any time that I do lift raw, I'll just wear the straps and I'll overload the spine, overload overload my body so that's kind of what we're doing and then here's Torta Torta is working up to a um, kind of heaviest single uh, trying to see where he's at in terms of uh, for the meat and so I think around that weight that he just did there's an opener Greg Buffington is also uh, playing around with some opening weights and I think Big Bird looks like he's doing some for him anyway those look like pretty low box squats brutal when you're when you're that tall it's tough to get down in there especially in a pair of briefs if he was raw it'd probably be easy to get down there so here's Greg I think we worked him up to around seven something on this day 735 I think was the last weight that one there was probably about 690 or so here's Chris using the safety bar the safety bar just puts the stress on the upper back mid to upper back area box squatting is a static position overcome by a dynamic one so it helps to build explosive strength and power good strong squat there by Greg I think that might have been his last squat so you can see the stopping and the starting again of the squat when you do a box squat the bands help to accommodate resistance you got more weight at the top and less weight at the bottom uh, teaches your body to accelerate teaches you to produce more force Here goes Chris again, safety bar. <clears throat> a lot of times on these speed days, we're doing anywhere from uh, eight sets to all the way up to about 12 sets of doubles. And uh, for some of us, we played around with utilizing some triples as well. Just to switch things up a little bit. Kind of the beauty of the conjugate system, even within the system itself, you can make some changes. You can make some adjustments. So it looks like Big Bird might needs to arch a little bit more there, but I think he just really struggles to arch. He's stiff as a board, kind of like myself. Arch and throw the knees out more. But easier said than done. You can see how long that uh, that quad is. If you can open it up and kind of shorten it, it, that would really help. But I just think that he just can't. It's kind of just closed off. See, Chris is doing a little bit better job of it. He's He's actually kind of squatting there and uh, opening up at the groin. And that is it from supertraining.tv.